Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. It is Abandoned Ship. That's right, there is a release. If you are watching this, the game is available on Steam Early Access, but the story is there and tons of gameplay has been put in according to the email I received from the developer. But you know what? I haven't really played much, so we're going to find out. Um, if you watched at the end of last year, I did do the combat campaign, which was a... Uh, 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 like a fighting scenario, but now we're going to jump in and get into the story. So let's go ahead and start up. We'll start a new profile. This profile is just going to be called the Vanilla Sailing um, Escapade. Sure, why not? I don't know that this really makes any difference. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn off the tutorials because we have a pretty good idea of what we're doing. We'll leave it in normal uh, difficulty because I don't know... Um, uh, you know what I mean? Oh, how do I... Uh... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, we're just going to play normal. And then uh, there's the world seed, in case I guess you want to try playing it yourself. And uh, we should start out with a little story. I played for like the first 20 minutes, and then I was like, man, eh, we'll just play this on the video. So, Wild Chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity, the horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike down! Flee this accursed place! Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked surprise registers on the second before he too is down. Okay. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. Oh, registers on the second before he too is down. Ah, now that sentence makes sense. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon, a small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside you snaps back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with feigned authority. No matter, the place is unguarded in our, no, their moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile, so you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who will you unlock first? All right, so here's us. We have two of every skill. We could unlock a navigator, a gunner, a marine, surgeon, or a sailor. Well, if I remember from last time, we want the navigator, the gunner, and I would say probably the sailor. It's kind of nice to have the surgeon, but I think we're gonna go with the sailor all the same. You and your new companion surge through the labyrinthine passages. Finally, a door. Light seeps in through cracks in the frame. Burst through the door! You close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for, a ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. To steal it and repurpose it by the vanilla PC strategy. Hey, I thought I turned off the tutorial. All right. So, uh, oh, okay, so it's not telling us where to put everybody, but it is telling us we need to do something. So you go cut those ropes. You go cut those ropes. You take the helm. And you arm the weapons. There we go. Great. Everybody on board. Going to escape. Any moment now. Ahoy. That's the foghorn. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away a high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer! Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, speaks, that was more of a scream. The other cultists disperse, no doubt, to begin their pursuit in their own vessels. They'll be sending ships after us. Let's get out of here. Off, off we go. All right, you're in great danger while you're so close to the cult fortress. Leave the area quickly. So... When uh, when we last played, we did not get to see any of this. So let's take a look. I think this is a neat looking game. There we go. So uh, each map is like in a little picture frame and it starts with a little canvas that you paint as you uh, f uh, float along. So we start out, here's the cultist area that we need to escape from. You can see there are different gates leading out. These are the ways that you connect up the different parts of the map. I believe if we go to the world map there we go so here we can see the world map you can see there's all sorts of different um, 
uh, all sorts of different lands in here. I don't know how many of these are available in early access, but it does look like there's several different other little maps we can get to from our first map. But the first map, uh, quest log, crew management. Ah, here's where we can uh, we can look at our things. So our captain, well, I'll be the captain, Sean. And here we can name our other people. For instance, Michelle, named after one of our patrons on Patreon. Thank you, Michelle, for your generous support. Next up would be Ben. Ben is a longtime viewer, has been with us forever. Again, a very generous patron supporter. And finally, Caleb. Caleb, another great patron supporter. Thank you, Caleb, for your help. And there we go. You know what? I'm not even going to name... I'm not going to be greedy and take up a name. Let's give it to another supporter. Relation is, uh, let's see, uh, what would be uh, nautical? Nautical. There you go. Elation is nautical. Great. Captain Elation. Uh, Navigator Michelle. Uh, Gunner Ben. And um, Sailor Caleb. Welcome aboard, e Uh Ship management is where we would, um, I guess, just manage our ship. Oh, we could even we could even name our ship. Really cool. Let's see who is next. How about the Nanette? And there we go. Another patron. If you would like to have your name in the game, maybe not this game, but in a game, be sure to check out my Patreon page at Vanilla PC or patreoncom slash strategy. The link is in the details. Um, there we go. Okay, so there's our map. Um, ah, here's where we set our default stuff. So we want our default closeness to be that one. And we want our gunner on that gun. That sounds... Actually, we want our gunner on the chain thing for now. We'll have uh, the captain over there, and we'll have our repair person on those weapons. There we go, and let's go ahead and save that. And now we are done with that. So we go back to the map, I believe. No, nope, we go back to this. Great. Okay, so there's a little treasure to pick up. And there should be one other treasure in here somewhere. There it is. Great. It's in the same place as it was before. So obviously this map hasn't changed. I did explore the rest of the map as I prepared kind of familiarized myself with this game. There's nothing worth seeing, so we're not going to waste our time on it this time around. We are going to come down here, and we're going to have to do a quick battle. I'll see if I can do a battle without even pausing the game. I'm not very good at that, but we're going to try. All right, so we are trying to close in on the neighboring ship here who's chasing after us. That's how we're going to escape, by fighting this neighboring ship. Chain. There we go. Take on their. Uh, take on the things. And here we're going to attack their. Uh, you know what? I like attacking their uh, medical thing as well. That causes them some problems. Oh, look at that. Shooting at our chain gun. They don't have a chain gun of their own, though. So we're getting closer. I'm going to get off one more chain attack, and then I'm going to send somebody over to the to the um, uh, uh, grape shot so we can um, start taking out the crew. There we go. Gunner to the grape shot. Good. Looks like all our repairs are holding up, so don't need to worry about that. We've got constant uh, barrages coming from these areas. As long as I keep track of our uh, sail health, then we should be able to keep up with them at our current... Oh, we're going to hit all three. Ah, that one guy ran out of the way just in time. Sneaky, very sneaky, sis. Uh, you can try to get some attacks off on us, but you're not going to do any real damage. There's another... Aha, look at that. Boom, all three of them. Nice. Real nice. And we're going to get a shot at the thing. There we go. Didn't hit the guy, but we still got a shot. You know, let's see if we can get a little closer. I think we'll be able to do it. Not entirely sure. 
You know what? I think I need to um, do some more damage to their... Uh... Why am I not able to... There we go. Do some more damage to their sails before we can get close enough to make a big difference. So I'm going to move Elation over there. Let's see if we can do some damage to this guy too. Almost took out their navigator. That have been that would have been real nice. There we go. That'll slow them down. We should be able to get closer. I'm gonna do one more shot on their sail since we're so close. But getting in closer will definitely help with our chain shot. I mean our uh, grape shot here. There we are. Real nice. Let's do one more chain, and then we're gonna move you back to the regular guns. Still not taking any real damage. These guns are not going to do as much damage up close, but our grape shot should do. Oh, well, we sunk them. Great. Eventually, I want to try to get two of these grape shotguns so we can have a better chance of killing all the crew and then maybe salvaging some goodies from their ships and stuff. Grab what you can and be quick about it. We got 20 whatever's golds. All right, leave combat. And there we go. We are going to move to this map. Fun stuff. All right. You announce to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the colt had their way with the ship. It feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them neatly away, knowing they may yet have their use. All right. Elation is nautical. There we go. And we cannot. Apparently, you're only allowed men in this game so far early access everybody and uh, we are good so let's go ahead and confirm you re-emerge onto the deck and the crew snap to attention we may have escaped you begin but we are not yet safe we must make port then go our separate ways it's me thereafter you return to your cabin and slump into a chair moments later a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep still loved and always in his thoughts you were the first but he knew something within you had changed. Thus, you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. Oh, okay. A sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back onto the deck to issue commands. The Colt Fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. You're in great danger when you're so close to the Colt Fortress. Leave the area quickly. Reach of the cult extends far. Escape this area so you can search for a port. All right. I'm pretty sure there's not any... Uh, there's a... Uh, what I would assume will be a naval battle. I'm assuming there's not going to be any towns in this map. But we're going to explore around and see what there is to find. Oh, no. Little thing. All right. Let's just fight one of these guys. By the time you spot the Colt ship, it's already put itself on an intercept course, and the wind favors them. If they remained at large, they'll carry news of our location to their foul brethren. We must sink them. And fast! All right. Everybody to your stations. They're already there. We're going to try to close in as usual. As a matter of fact, let's set that to super close and see how close we can get. I like getting in nice and tight. We can use that that uh, grape shot to our advantage. All right, you attack that thing. And you, you know what? Why don't you attack the uh, thing as well? I'm going to, again, stupidly try and, and uh, take over their... Uh, uh, kill all their crew if I can, rather than sink the ship. Let's get you in there. So they've done a little bit of damage to our sails. It's okay. No problem. Oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna get you. These guys are a little, little tougher than the last guys we fought so far. Definitely makes me want to pause the game. <laughs> all right, get back to the cannons. And there we are, bam, nice shot. Get one more shot up here. 
we should be able to pull in even closer. Uh, repair guy, get over there. See, here's where I really want to be pausing it because I feel like we're missing out on stuff. All right, you get onto that gun. There we are. Now we're nice and close. But I guess the problem here is they could conceivably leap over and get us. Ah, oh, look at that damage, though. Uh, that short-range damage. So nice. I don't know how much damage we're going to do with, with the cannons. And it makes it really hard to, like, we can't aim at their repair bay like I want to. But, ah, oh, I can almost, almost killed that guy. And I, oh, now they're getting away. That's okay. Yeah. I guess I'm not really going to be able to take out their uh, entire ship. Oh, wow, they're really pulling away. That's too bad. Yeah, 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 you think you're so tough. Oh, it's because they've damaged our sails, and I failed to repair them. I was wondering how they were able to get away, because they definitely couldn't get away before. That's all right. We'll swing things back around into our favor. Need to remember to pay attention to, to my own sails. So it looks like we're pretty much going to have to take out their just just take out their ship in general instead of instead of uh, killing everybody like I wanted to. That's all right. Still kill. Maybe one of them? Have we killed one of them? No. No. But now we've killed all of them, so no need to worry. Glub, 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 they say. So long. Bad guys, you've been sunk. Alright, ship's carrying valuables. Yep. Ka ching. Leave combat. Everybody's healed. We are back to exploring. Okay. So, no towns. Any booty? I haven't seen any booty. There's another battle. May as well get that battle over with. You've been watching a cult vessel in rapt concentration for a while now as you subtly change course to put distance between you. You lower the spire glass and raise the rum glass. Your true identity has escaped their notice this time. Um, yeah, let's, I don't want to run away. You dread to think what would happen if they chose to flee. Okay, um, I know I said I wasn't going to pause, but I just can't help myself. There we go. Don't need to worry about it quite yet. Normal um, combat here, I would say. The same as the last few. Not too challenging so far. Kind of got to let people get warmed up. Get, get used to the game. Uh, they are, uh, oh, they've got a, a better attack this time around. I would say, let's get our repair guy doing some repairs. Luckily, they haven't really hurt anything that's uh, particularly relevant to our success. But I still want to get in closer so we can have our weapons better. Like, they've got that bomb bombard, and if we get in closer, their bombard won't really be able to hurt us as much. I know they're not really setting any fires or anything. Get that guy on the repairs again. Alright, get their sail. Nice, nice job. Alright, now we're gonna move in. I wanna get one more hit on their sails and then we'll uh, switch weapons over again. Very good. Alright, you get on to that gun, please. I sit onto that gun, please. There we go. And there's our sail shot. And you're going to move over to that gun now. Alright. So we should have things pretty well in hand. They're not doing too much damage to us. But I want to make 
make sure I stay on top of the repairs. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna set this guy to attack their bombard. You too, as a matter of fact. They really seem to be focused on keeping their guys over there, so maybe I'll be able to do some damage to the to the crew members as well. Still really want to try to take the crew out. Yeah, I did a little bit. With the with the proper concentration of attacks, I might be able to actually do it. Fortunately, their attacks are affecting our uh, weapons on the other side of the ship, so not, not really helping them out very much. All right, that's repaired up. Get back onto your gun, please. Get a few more shots off. And another one of these shots off. Weapon not loaded, come on. There we go. switch you to that. Again, probably not the, yeah, that's really not the smartest thing to do because we can't really do any real damage to that. But we can try to do real damage to the bombard at the very least. Keep these guys tied up trying to heal themselves. Although it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage to the, should just attack the hole. Not worry about getting too fancy with our, with our random attacks. There we are. Take that, bad guys. And, uh, yep. I'm not worried about the damage you're going to do to me. Because we're going to knock you out of the water here with that last shot. Very good. All right. I'd say we're off to a pretty good start for this, uh, for this map. Taking any serious damage to anybody? Gathered up some additional coins. Leave combat and can't really zoom in or out on this map, which is fine. But I have the always want to zoom. And uh, I guess I can't because the scroll bar does nothing. I believe the scroll bar does zoom in and out a little bit. Or not the scroll bar, but the scroll wheel. I believe it does zoom in and out a little bit when you're on the uh, thing. Oh, does my ship not repair between? Interesting. I thought it would repair between uh, fights, right? Isn't that what that is? Or is that just like my maximum hit points? Hmm, that's bizarre. I don't know. That would suck if we uh, if we lost before we even got started, because I've just been too careless with my fighting. Uh, there's some some free money, the equivalent of taking out a whole ship, basically. Let's see if there's any goodies down here. Not a gate down here, but I guess I kind of knew that from looking at the looking at the world map, didn't I? Not much going on. Not much going on. There's got to be at least one more cultist fight because you need to have so many of them to open up the gate. Of course, we haven't been over to the gate to... Ah, there's another cultist fight. Let's hold off on that. Ah, two of four. So there's two more fights. I wonder if the fourth one is on the... Uh, like, at the gate there is the fourth one. Hmm... Oh, nope, there's the fourth one up there. All right, so we've got two more to go, and we've got a timer that is just about to go off. So I think I am going to call this the end of the episode. All right, guys. So this is Abandoned Ship and the Story Mode. I hope you are enjoying it. This is a pretty fun game, and I look forward to playing some more and seeing how far we can get in the story. Um, you know how this works. If you have enjoyed this, click the like button and leave me a comment. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing so you can see more videos like this and other games that I play. I play a lot of games, do videos every day, uh, and I hope you will join me for more of them. Um, leave me a comment. I already said that, didn't I? I'll just wrap it up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.